Hello and welcome, it's Bill Skolodowski and it's Friday night and that must mean it's time for iPhone Friday. So uh, welcome aboard every Friday night at 8 o'clock. The latest um, tip, trick and other technique to make your high tech life easier just like it just like it says down there. So thanks for joining us. If there's uh, someone that you think might benefit from this, a friend or a colleague or something like that, feel free to share it. And uh, if you have questions or comments, well, you know what to do. In the meantime, uh, moving along with uh, iPhones and all that is new with iOS 14. Oh, by the way, <laughs> just to back up just a second. The new Mac operating system is indeed out. It's called Big Sur, like the park the, in California, I think, they're on the coast. And uh, I downloaded it and upgraded my iMac on my desktop overnight. And so far, if I had some wood, I'd, I'd knock on it around here somewhere. So far, knock on wood, everything is great. It's no problem. It went right through. No up, no problems with updates or anything like that. Sign back in and I'm good to go. So maybe next Wednesday for some What's New Wednesday, we'll touch on it just a little. I know it's not iPhone or iPad related, but if you have a Mac, it's, it's a big deal. It, it's so far, again, so far so good. What we have been talking about a lot is the uh, updates with iOS 14, and I thought I would revisit tonight just a little bit about the app library. And uh, you know, that's here, let me jump over to the um, let me jump over to the phone for a second. App library. We talked about this uh, in one of our very first iOS 14 things or videos, and that is when you scroll from you know uh, on your phone as you're looking at the phone from right to left eventually you get to the app library, which is the last screen, right? You may have two or three or four screens to get to, all right? I just have two and then I get to the app library, which shows two different views. And as we said, the, the first view is kind of a grouping of apps that the uh, software does automatically. I didn't have to make any decisions here. The software has the suggested apps first, four of the most popular things I'm using right now. I mean, you know, in the, in the last day or two, the things that I've used most often. Recently added are things that I've either downloaded or, you know, uh, uh, added back to the phone, you know, that I may have deleted and put back, whatever. Recently added is exactly what it says. And then underneath it, just groups and groups that may or may not be exactly what you have in mind. Now, like productivity and finance. Well, okay, that's good except that white when with the blue circle up there is actually an email app. So is that productivity? I'm not so sure. And then the one now we're next to it, social. Well, that's the text messaging and Instagram and Facebook Messenger and all that stuff. Just to finish that thought, if you see a group like the social one over there, if you see that group that has three big apps and then four more small ones, that's just telling you that there's a lot more apps that the phone has decided fit into that category, in this case, social. And if I tap on the four little apps inside that box, right, if I tap on any of the big ones, like if I tap on the green text messages, it'll open up the messaging app. If I tap on the Instagram app, it'll open up Instagram. If I tap on the four little ones, it opens up the whole social group, which shows everything that's in that group. Okay, good. So I just push the home button if you have a home swipe, you know, on your iPhone 10, 11, or 12. Uh, by the way, if you have an iPhone 12, I'm very jealous of you. <laughs> and I'm thinking of upgrading, I really am. But again, as you look down, most of them are gonna have four or more apps. Like for example, my entertainment one right here. I have music and YouTube and SiriusXM, and then there's four more. So if I tap on those four, well, now I get the whole you know, the whole basket full of them, okay? So that's one review. Here's really though the thing that I wanted to talk about tonight and that is as I rearrange apps on my screen and as I clean things up, because right now I'm just down to two screens. I have this home screen that you see with a big widget up at the top for email. And then I have this second screen with two widgets on the top. The very top one there, the red is part of a stack. So I've got some photos, I've got some news, I got my calendar, I got the reminders, and then it goes back to, to music. And then the one underneath it is the stock market and it just shows you know whatever stock I want to, to see it. In this case, it shows Bitcoin. So 
I just have those two and then I make one more swipe and there I am at the app library. And remember we said that if you pull down on the app library from the center, it's gonna go to the list. And if you don't, if all you did was tap up at the top where it says app library, tap, it'll show the alphabetical list of all the apps that you have had or do have on your phone. And, and this is important, and this is really the subject for today that I wanted to clear up for some people because I've heard some confusion about this, okay? So, as we said, this is the alphabetical list. Starts with A for airmail, and then as you can see, the little itty bitty letters over at the side, if I need to jump down to the M's, for example, I can just tap, and all I'm doing is tapping on that, on that list, on that, uh, you know, on the side there where those little, uh, the A to Z is. So I tap on T and I get, er, oh, nah, see, I didn't, I messed it up. If I tap on the Q's, it comes down to QuickBooks for Q. If I tap on, and of course it's so small that, you know, my big fat fingers probably not going to be exact, but that's okay. So I can scroll up or down along all the apps that are in here. All right, that's cool. Now you'll notice that some of them have that cloud with the down pointing arrow in them. See like Firefox right here or Fiverr or FreeCell, okay? What does that mean? Well, that means that that's an app that was on your phone, but you haven't used it in so long that the phone has offloaded it, right? And it's no longer actually installed on your phone. Now, if you want to use it, all you have to do is tap on it, right? But you will get a message. Let's, let's try Firefox and see what happens. If I tap on Firefox, all right, look, see the little clock? It's gonna to start to re-download the app. And when it finishes, and coming around, coming around, coming around, and it finishes, okay, cool. The uh, little download app is gone, the download symbol is gone, and now I can open up Firefox, and there it is. That's another browser, don't, it's another web browser. Don't, you know, don't worry about that, okay? So just be aware that if you see those cloud download symbols there in the app library, that simply means that your phone has offloaded that app to save space. And the phone is guessing, gee, he hasn't used it in months. We can probably take it off the phone. He won't even notice. All right, until you need it, and then you tap on it, and you're good to go, okay? So that's item number one. Item number two is um, what happens when I want to put one of these apps back onto one of the home screens? And by home screens, I mean, you know, that's going to be either the home home screen, the first one, or the second one. Those are both really called home screens. I don't, I, I don't know that there's a better name for that or not, okay? But because we have all this big long list, you might all of a sudden decide, well, hey, I, I actually want to use, let's go back to that Firefox example, all right? Let's go back to that example with Firefox. I actually want to use that app and try it again. I've heard good things or I don't like the one I'm using, whatever. But as I look on my home screen, right, as I look on the home screen, it's, eh, nope, it's not there. Eh, no, it's not there. All right. So the question then becomes, how do I get it out of the app library and back to the home screen? Okay. And I got to tell you that this is something you're probably going to have to play with because I've seen apps, um, I've seen different behaviors from different apps. So I just want to kind of give you the, the, the recipe here. Uh, uh, you know, when you watch the cooking shows, they'll always say, you know, don't, you don't have to follow it word for word. This is just kind of a style or, a, you know, a, a method or whatever. Me and cooking shows, don't get me started. All right, so anyway, if the app is not currently on your home screen and you want to move it there, my first suggestion would simply be a long press on the app. Okay, which, if you know from past videos, just means lay your finger on it and wait a few seconds. So if I do that with Firefox and I lay my finger on it, it opens up, right, the app menu of what some of the things you can do, like a new tab, private tab, scan a code, share it, delete it, whatever, all right? Unfortunately, nowhere in there is the instruction on how do I get it out of the app library and onto my home screen, okay? And that may... It may be different for different apps. So let's try Flipboard here. I lean on that, share notification search following. Nope, nope, let's go down, try something completely different. Let's go down to Instagram, I lean on it, camera, post activity, share, delete. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's go down to mail, lean on it, 
Switch trip, nope, nope, nope. All right, how do I get this onto the home screen? All right, well, the answer is same thing that we do when we move apps around on home screens, which is to long press and then just kind of, with your finger still on it, drag it over to one of the other screens. Now, you'll remember, let's go back to the home screen, that if I wanted to move apps around here, right, I long press on the app, all right, and then you're going to get that menu that says edit home screen, and I tap and everybody starts to jiggle, and then you've, I can put my finger on it and move it around. You, I'm, all I'm doing is moving my finger. You've seen that before, right? That's nothing new. But back here in the app library, all right, if I want to move something onto the home screen, it doesn't quite give me that clue or that, you know, uh, information about maybe doing that. So let's find something. All right, let's find, uh, oh, I don't know, the, the Google Drive app. There's, oop, come back. The Google Drive, well, I can find anything now. <laughs> let's go back. I talked about Google Drive. There's the Google Drive app. I want to put that on my home screen. So if I lean on it and wait, I don't have an option there that says, you know, add to home screen or move or, or, or rearrange home screen. There's none of that. So what do I do? Well, the, actually, you're doing the same thing. It just doesn't tell you to do the same thing. So lean on it. Let's start from scratch. Oh, come back. Let's lean on it. And then as, before I do anything, see what happened? That was kind of fast. Let me, let me start that again. All right. And there's the Google Drive, by the way. It opened up. So let me do that again. Let's go back to App Library. We'll do the Amazon app. It's right here. It's handy. Okay. I'm going to lean my finger on it and wait. And I, I didn't move. I didn't move my hand. It just, all it did was it, it came out here all by itself. And you can't see it yet. And in fact, if I look on my thumb, I can't see the app under my thumb. It's, it's, it's hidden or it, I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not. But when I let go, watch, I'm going to take my finger off the phone. It's hard to do because I got to keep my finger on it. Take my finger off the phone. All right. It appeared. See that? It appeared down there. And then when I hit the home button, it locks it in place. It's kind of weird. And I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. <laughs> I don't know if the good people at Apple thought that all the way through or not. Because if it's me... You know, I'd really like to see if I lean on an app, If uh, when I say lean on, I mean long press. If I long press on an app, I'd kind of like to see it say add to home screen on all of those, right? Because that would make it easier for me, but it doesn't on all of them. So again, same thing, long press, just keep pressing, keep pressing, and there you go. And then when I come out here, now it's trying to make a group because I was leaning on a group. But when I bring my finger out, or it's hard to show you, I apologize. When I bring my finger out like that, all right, it did that all by itself. It came out to this home screen. And when I let go, the app appears on the screen. It's a little weird. And there's no like copy and paste. There's none of that in there. But that's just the way it works. I don't know. <laughs> I, again, I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that or not. But you know what? Until I find out otherwise, that's how you move apps out of the app library and onto your home screen so that you can use them every day or, you know, have quick and easy access to them. And that's going to take us to the end of the video for today. And that's going to definitely remind me that I have to make a, uh, a handout, a classroom handout, so that when you come to the uh, website and sign yourself up for the email, you'll learn how to do that too. Wow, kind of crazy, I know. All right, so if you haven't done so yet, head on over to the website, over to BillSkladowski.com. There's the address right there. BillSkladowski.com. Sign yourself up for the uh, weekly email. We just send out one email on Sunday afternoon or Monday morning that uh, tells you what the two videos were for the past week and includes the free classroom handout so that you can do what we just showed on the Friday video. So if you're confused, just get the email and you'll see how to do it exactly. All right, that's going to do it. <laughs> have yourself a great weekend stay safe out there we had the hurricane pass by this week so we're still cleaning up around here no big damage but just soggy have a great weekend we'll see you next week for what's new wednesday and iphone friday take care